Hello everyone, this is Grammar Class 101 and tonight I will discuss to you the continuation of Lesson 3, Idioms in English. So guys, let's go. So to take part, to take part, our first idiom is to take part, meaning to participate. You have here to participate. Example, Martin was sick and could not take part in the meeting last night. So we have here take part to participate. Second is I did not want to take part in their argument. So I don't want to participate in that argument. So that's easy. So next is we have at all. We have at all. So meaning to any degree in the least generally used only in negative sense um, with not or hardly. So we have here, he said that he did not have any money at all. So it's clear. Second is, when I asked her teacher whether she was tired, she said, not at all. Not at all. So we have next, to look up. To look up meaning to search for a word, for a price, a telephone number, etc. Especially in a dictionary or catalog. So, where one must turn over pages. So, that's the meaning. And remember, guys, our idiom is, we have letter S, asterisk, meaning separable. So, our idiom is separable, meaning in between of an idiom, we can insert an object, a object. Every student should look up all new words in his dictionary each day. So, we have here... So look up, so uh, search for a word. So number two, we have Ellen said that she did not know Robert's number, but that she would look it up, look it up in the telephone uh, book. So we have here look, and that the object it, because our idiom is separable, and then up, look it up. So that's that, that's it. So number three, look this uh, date up in the dictionary, please. So we have here look and up, but this there are words uh, in between. So because our idiom is separable again. So number four, to wait, to wait up, uh, to wait on, meaning upon, upon. The, the meaning is to serve, to attend, to in a store or shop so number one is a very pleasant young woman waited on waited on me and Mrs. yesterday so we have here our idiom is waited on the clerk asked have you been waited on yet sir so we have here uh, waited on next at least at least uh, meaning a uh, minimum of Every student should spend at least, or the minimum, at least two hours in his homework every night. And Gloria has been sick in bed at least, we have at least two months. So, that's it. Number six, to take a seat, meaning to sit down. He asked me to come in and take a seat. We have to sit down. Have here, sit down. Number two, after a few minutes, he said, won't you please take a seat it's an offer no it's an offer so sit down seven so far it's a common one so far up to the present time so so far we have here jan has been uh, the best student in our english class so we have here so far so far and that's it how many idioms have we studied in this book so far so i think we have we are um 12 times 4, that's the number of idioms we learned so far. So, eight, number 8, to take a walk. So, meaning to go for a walk or promenade. We have here, take a walk, to go for a walk and promenade. And number 1 example, for uh, last evening we took a walk along the Broadway. So, the past form of take. So, that's it. It is a fine day. How would you like to take a walk along Fifth Avenue? So, take a look.
Now walk. Number nine, to try on. Meaning, to test, we have here, to test, to try before buying. So before you buy, we have, you have to try on. Uh, it is said only for clothes. So it is used for clothes. So again, we have here asterisk S, uh, meaning our idiom is separable. We can insert an object or a word or words between the idiom. So he tried on, he tried on several suits and finally picked out a blue one. So we have to try it on. And why is it necessary to try on? To try on shoes before buying them. So you have to try on. And this is an example of separable idiom. Try this brown soup on. We have this try and on and there are words in between our idiom. This brown soup. So try this brown soup on next. Number 10. To think over. To think over meaning to consider carefully before deciding. So you have something to be considered. So again, our idiom is a parable. We can insert words or object between an idiom. So number one, I th I shall think over. I shall think over your offer and give you my answer tomorrow. So think over to consider or taking time to think over. No. And number two, you don't have to decide this matter at once. You can think it over and give your decision tomorrow. So we can have here think and the object it and over. So that's a package for our idiom. Number 10. And number 11. So to take place, meaning to happen or to occur. Number one is the meeting took place in Constitution Hall. So we have here two place, two place to happen. And what place to happen? And then the Constitution Hall. Number two, where did the accident take place? Where did the accident take place? So in here, take place to happen, or where the accident uh, occurred. Number twelve, and I think this is the last one, uh, idiom: to put away. To put away. We have here to put away. The meaning is to set aside return something to its proper place okay and again our idiom is separable we have letter s and asterisk here in the upper right corner and number one example first it john after john finished reading the report he put it away in his safe so uh, our idiom is uh, broken and we have put and the object it and away and number two, the mother told the child to put her toys away. Again, separated idiom. We have here toys. Okay. Number three, put your book uh, book away. It is time for lunch. And yes, that's it. To set aside. And guys, thank you for watching and this video. And I hope you have learned something uh, relevant from this idioms, important relevant idioms and basic idioms in English. Padahin sa pagkaton, don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video and hit that bell icon to notify you and for my future uploads. So, mabuhay Mindanao. See you in my next video. Keep safe, everyone. Thank you.